And I'm thrilled that I have a fabulous co-host with me this evening, Halle Gattery. Halle lives in Ontario, and Fuse, her memoir, was published by Guernica Editions, and it won the 2023 Canadian Book Club Award for Nonfiction Memoir. Her collection of poetry, Rebellion Box, was released by Radiant Press in 2023, and her short stories, Widow Fantasies, are forthcoming with Gordon Hill. Halle is the Poet Laureate of Scugog Township, and I am so excited that she's co-hosting and looking forward to hearing Halle read from Rebellion Box. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Halle. Hi, Crystal. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm, I'm excited to read. I'm excited to be here for the second year in a row. And I'm excited you let me um, bother you about this every year. And you're so receptive to my, my bothersome emails. So thank you. Um, I am so excited to be reading a poem today. Um, and I'm going to be reading um, a poem called The Zignark Effect. And the Zignark effect is a state of mental unease caused by um, uncompleted tasks. So people will have anxiety about tasks that are not exactly completed. So where this came into being with me was I used to work as a bartender at a really neat historical inn in Kingston, Ontario. And it was right across from a hospital, Hotel Dieu. And a lot of Indigenous patients went to this hospital. It was somehow government funded and they were funded staying at the hotel that was attached to the bar I worked in. And I noticed when I was there a lot of racism from people in general towards the Indigenous people who came by. And I was in my early 20s and I didn't say or do anything about it. I didn't contribute, but I didn't say anything back. And that's always really bothered me. So I wrote this poem. For the record, it's not the fat cities, beers on tap, closing shift blues, or names of the regulars I remember most. Not even the one who brought me bear meat from his hunting trip, even though I said, no, no, thank you. And no, I won't eat that, not because it's meat, but because it's bear and how we looked puzzled a moment before breathing, ah, uh, I see, but Makwa won't hold your survival against you. What I remember is the busiest weekend of the summer, tables packed, my gilded reflection floating in the bar's long to silvered mirror while I poured, oops, while I poured drinks, left them huddled and sweating on the glass rail, how I'd said nothing, not even, no thank you, when a waitress put it in an order and said, don't rush this one, not like Indians fucking tip anyway. So I was really nervous about writing that poem. I thought, what will people think of me? I'm a terrible person. I didn't do the right thing. But this poem was actually an honorable mention in one of the League of Canadian Poets contests. And it really made me feel better about what you can do with poetry and say with poetry and how poetry is a portal to admission and exploration and interrogation of ourselves. And it's not a place where we should feel judged. And I was, it was, it was a difficult poem to write because of what I felt it said about me, but it was ultimately very rewarding. So thank you for allowing me to read it. 